OK。Everybody. Welcome back to another day with the Norps. Today is actually tonight. On our Q&A, a lot of you guys commented that you wanted another baking video. And so today I'm going to, or tonight, I'm going to make bagels. I got this recipe from Lisa at the farmhouse on Boone. Um, I don't do it exactly like she said. Kitty, I'm talking right now. But it's really fun. I really like it. The kids do too. Um, and we only have a couple bagels left, so we're gonna make some more. I made some really good banana bread with sourdough, ca uh, cast off or whatever it's called. I've got two things of sourdough here. It just makes me feel better so that if I accidentally kill one, I still have another one. I just got these little caps on um, Amazon. Both of these starters look great. Um, I might put this one in the fridge. No, no, I might put this one in the fridge. No, I'll just leave it out. I fed it earlier today, I'll feed it again tomorrow, but I'm gonna use this one. It's active and ready to go for our bagels. You just came inside, you already wanna go back out? Come on. If you wanna know more about sourdough bread, don't ask me, I don't know. I Right now, it's kind of like magic for me still. I don't really, it just is working. I don't know, it's just working. I don't really know why, and it's kind of sloppy, but it's working, so we're gonna keep doing it. First, I got a big, heavy bowl. Thrifted this back in the day, love it. Like, a lot of people make their bagels with a mixer, and I just feel like I'm mixing it and mixing it and mixing it, and it's not coming together, even after like 10 minutes. And when I pull it out and I just start hand mixing it and kneading it, it comes together, and it's also really enjoyable. One of my favorite things to have to watch come together is to take a shaggy dough, and I'll show you what that means. And knead it and knead it and knead it until it becomes smooth and elastic. It feels like a work of art. Like, like a baby's bum. <laughs> and I love it. So I don't mind it. It takes a while. And I got these two little helpers. Actually, I think we'll do it at the table because the counter might be too high for them to really get their body weight in for kneading. I noticed that last time. So Mike is setting up for an essential oil class or workshop we're teaching in 34 minutes. But we're going to get this thing this dough to come together so we can let it rest overnight. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna wipe down the table with a little bit of oil. I like to wipe down my counters after I've wiped them with a rag with a little bit of essential oil. I just feel like it gives me a little bit more peace of mind that it's like actually clean. And I'm looking at this table and having second thoughts about using it. I'm going to use it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dirty, 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 dirty table. Wow. Let's see how dirty that one is. But this way you guys can knead it. Let's see if that is any better now. Yeah. Yes, it's better. Kind of better. <laughs> okay, Lisa at Farmhouse on Boone, like everything's like free on her channel which is really nice. She um, has all of these sourdough recipes. You can download like a whole sourdough book. I need water. Do we have maple syrup? Maybe no. Okay, will you get out the agave and the salt? Edie, can you bring the, um, and we need the salt too, Judy. Can you bring the, the flour over? Flour. Yep, flour. I never cook over here. So, you know this chair? Yep, salt. We're gonna put a cup of starter in. And then we need two cups of water. Oh, that smells delicious. That is a very yummy starter. A quarter cup of, we're gonna use agave. You can use maple syrup. You can use honey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got it, thank you though. Okay. Do you wanna film for me? Yeah. Hold the camera? Oh, yeah. Then we need a little bit of salt. How much salt? <laughs> I got the worst. I was out of kosher salt, so I got it at the regular grocery store and then found out it didn't have like a spout, which is kind of ridiculous. Then we're going to start adding our flour. 
Okay, now I need the metal measuring cup though. If you guys want to come see, I've just mixed all of these things in here and I'm going to add the flour. Oh. And so first, I'm going to add just four cups of flour. Okay, mommy. One, two, you need to wash your hands. Three, four. And at this point, it's going to be easy for it to incorporate. But we're going to need to add three more cups. Lisa takes it in four more cups. I don't know how she does that and has them work for her. Though in the video, she says you don't have to get all of it in or she'd be surprised if you did. And I was like, wait. So this last time I just did, I think, like seven instead of eight and much better consistency. We're going to add another cup. That smells Here, really back good. up. Yeah, it smells really good, huh? Yeah, it does. You want to back up a little bit? It is already, I got to take off my wedding ring and off my watch because we already need to start. <laughs> there goes my wedding ring. Okay. Oh, it went right there. Thank you, Jude. So now I'm going to start actually kind of kneading this in my six cups. I just felt like the mixer was just pushing it around and keeping both my, even my Bosch was, it was not incorporating it the way that I thought it should. Here we go. Okay, this is six cups of flour. I'm gonna add another half cup. I'm just kind of kneading that in. Yeah. Now, a lot of times when you're making something, you don't want to over knead it, but not with the, um, the uh, bagels can take it. It's a very chewy dough. I'm already having a hard time incorporating all of this. And this is the state where I just felt like it was just pushing my dough around in the mixer and I was having to get it out anyways. It's like breaking while you're kneading it. Yeah, it's a very shaggy dough. And what's so magical about that, you guys see what I mean by shaggy? Shaggy is like this look, you know, like, sh like a shag carpet or shag. I don't know what else, shag, shag bangs, shag haircut. Looks like this. This is a shaggy dough when they say that. What's gonna be so magical is that as me and the kids knead it, we're gonna activate the gluten and it's gonna start setting up those bonds and it's gonna become a soft, smooth and springy dough. It's gonna be amazing, amazing. Mm. I've never done this before like this. Mm. Only, this is only my third time making bagels. But um, last time I made them, I just about halfway through the kneading process, got it out. This time I'm doing the whole way, so it's a little, a little bit of a mess. And I wanted the kids to be able to help more because Jude, you had a hard time kneading it at counter level, huh? Yeah. Okay, this is another trick I'm doing. I don't know, I just kind of like fold the dough inside out and I get to those inner sticky layers and it's easier for me to incorporate the, okay, we're getting to the point where we can just start kneading. So look at that. It's not there yet, but can you see that? It's coming together. Now, Eve, are you ready to do some? Yeah, I mean, together. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it and yeah. lift it. Roll it and lift it. Okay. Roll, you're not pushing as much mm -hmm. as you're yeah. rolling, lifting, okay. rolling, lifting. Try that. Okay. Looks pretty good. You do that until you feel like you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll take over. And then, yeah. And then when it gets really long, sometimes I'll go like this. I'll go this direction. Okay. Yeah, okay. not bad. Do you want to keep going? Yeah. Okay. okay, let me do it for a little bit and then it'll be Jude's turn. Thank you, Evie. Already <laughs> becoming even smoother. Yeah. Mm, it feels so good in my hands. I love the way dough feels. It's so Mommy. soft. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's my magical. <laughs> Now, people might wonder, you kind of want to get this like ram's head sort of look. And it works. You don't have to push really hard and you're not like smushing the dough. 
Okay, Jude, rock and roll. <coughs> Easier? Yeah. Have it fall on its face a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, there you go. You want me to take over? You just sure. tell me. Okay. Yeah. Mom. pain test. Jude's stretching out the dough, seeing if it will. It's pretty good, yeah? Oh, I think we got it pretty much. I mean, we could go a little bit longer, but I think we're good. <laughs> you want to do it a little bit more? Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll do it a little bit more. throw it in our bowl. We're going to cover it overnight or 12, 8 to 12 hours. I just do it overnight and in the morning we're going to cut it up into bagels. 16 bagels. Good job. <laughs> I was looking through the camera. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. I got these really cute things. I'll put a link on Amazon. Love them. I have three different sizes. Very cute. Oh look. There's one on there. Okay, it's the next day. It's about 13 and a half hours later. So she says to let it sit for eight to 12 hours. But let me show you the dough, it looks beautiful. Look at that beautiful, beautiful dough. Ooh. So I'm gonna dump it out. I'm gonna shape it into, it, she says 16, but I'm gonna do 15 just so it fits in my pan better. And I'm gonna let them rise just a little bit. And then we're gonna boil them and bake them. Those are all pulled together and I'm just going to cover them with a towel and let them rise until they're a little puffier. They'll probably be pretty close together by that point. Um, and then we will boil them. Probably, it says one to four hours, just depends on how warm your house is. When my house was really cold last week, I definitely, I put them on a heating pad on the counter and that worked like a champ, but today it's pretty warm, so I should be good. All right, while the bagels are rising, I'm gonna do some of my sketching for the day. Today, I thought I would try doing something a little funner, a little lighter, because just me, I'm, I've done so many things that are like, why did I choose to do something so hard? Um, but I am actually, I guess, gonna film it. I'm a little scared to do that, but I'm just, I see these um, ceramic charms that people are doing that are really cute and I wanna make some with pearl and I thought maybe I should practice um, like painting little circles and hearts and squares. So I'm just gonna do some mock-ups for little charms that I might want to have. Okay, the bagels are ready to go. We're gonna go cook them in some water. Let's go show you. You might be intimidated by this or think it's really hard, but it's actually not. Because no, my mom was like, don't you have to boil those? Or my sister, somebody. I'm like, yeah, but it's actually really simple. The water is boiling. I'm eating a little bit of a chicken nugget. Right, as you do. We're gonna add brown sugar. That helps them get golden. The brown yeah. sugar helps them get golden. Okay. Baking soda. Whoa. Yay. Ooh, it's like a science project over here. How exciting. Ooh. And then, Jude's gonna be my timer boy, right, Jude? And um, I'm just gonna stir this in a little bit better. We're gonna boil them for one minute on each side. So I just slightly, or lightly pick them up. Slightly pick them up. <laughs> That looks hot. You gotta be careful. 
What if you did this in oil? <laughs> You'd make what donuts. Then? See, I don't know why we're not doing that. Got the ugly side up. That's what I always say, ugly side up. That's the way I live my life. Hey, yeah. Just press that once. Lightly flipping them over. I'm going yeah. to, if you're like, the that, holes aren't very yeah. big, no, after no, no. I pull them out, I'm going to pull those holes open again. You just kind of get some of that water off. And this is where you would, um, if you want to put toppings on them, you would dunk them in your toppings. And we, those everything seasonings that they sell at the grocery store now are so good. But we've all decided to keep them plain now that we're doing this our third round. And if you want the everything seasoning, you can just put it on top of the cream cheese, just so that they're more versatile. Cause some people like them with jam, some people like them. And the salsa? No, you know. So, okay, I'm gonna That's do the I rest like of these and then I'll show you. You can do this before you put it in the water, but um, I just do it afterwards. And then I turn the prettier side up. Uh-huh. And uh, then once these are done, we'll throw them in the oven. Okay. While the bagels are in the oven, we're going to make, Pearl and I, some charms out of the, the things I was just drawing. I've seen some on Pinterest, thought they were cute, so we're going to make some little shapes, put them in the oven, and then once they're cool and ready to go, we'll, we'll paint some cute little designs on them. The bagels are out. They are soft. Just the right amount. Mmm, delish. There's nothing worse than watching someone bake something and then nobody ever eats it at the end of the video. So I stay away from flour, but Pearl said she would eat some for us. If you were like, oh, we don't really eat bagels. Neither did we. In fact, when I made bagels for the first time last week, a couple of my kids had never had one. But now, now, times have changed. I have this one still. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Good? So, Pearl and I made all of these little, essentially medallions that we're going to bake and then paint and um, make into cute little charms. So, that's fun. While those are in the oven, our next kind of strange order of business is my brother had a project car um, that somebody gave him a really pretty little Audi wagon and he left it here when he moved thinking he'd come back for it but it's just ended up being something that has just stressed him out like how am I ever gonna go get that thing and drive it across the country and so he called me a few days ago he's like do you want this car and I'm like yes I do because Asher has been wanting to work on a car that was like he worked on this go-kart and he was like I'd really like to work on a car next and Elijah's in the market for a car. And so we thought maybe if they combined what they've got, Asher wants to work on it and he has the time and Elijah has some cash, then maybe this could be Elijah's car. And so we're gonna go up, um, a friend of my brother and I has been keeping at his house. He's gonna explain to us what needs to be done on it still. And we're gonna bring it back home. It's drivable. It's just got a few things that need to be fixed. And I think the inside needs some work too. Here's the car back home. It's a pretty cool looking car. It just needs work. And Asher, are you prepared to do the work? And Jude's really excited to clean it. This needs a lot of work. I don't know if Elijah's gonna wanna. You just let it be Asher's project car? Well, I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of unknowns. It's like, it reminds me of that part in Ghostbusters where he brings back that car and he's like, eh, got a great deal. It needs new brakes, new engine. New Need some suspension work and shocks and uh, brakes, brake pads, lining, steering box, transmission, rear end. I don't know how to get that open. Oh, that crunch. Yeah, that's a crunch. How's the flavor? Pretty good. 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 They're out of the oven. Pearl is using her little Dremel tool to buff off any of the like rough edges. And then we're gonna sketch on them and paint on them. And I'm um, just looking at Pinterest for different ideas. 
Mm. And we'll just start going and see what we come up with, right? So I sketched a very small little cottage oh, yeah. design on this. I'm going to see if I have the ability to use my smallish brush and actually do those lines. I'm imagining that's gonna be a little harder than I thought. I wonder if I should just do it with a marker actually. Hmm. Okay, we petered out before we made all of them because it's harder than we thought. Pearl made this incredible bird one. Let's see if I can get that to focus. That one's awesome. And so we're just gonna let them dry for a little bit and then we're gonna put resin on them. Hopefully it doesn't make anything run and um, see if we can't make them look more like ceramic. Pearl's putting resin on. She did this one as her test. Looks really cute. So she's doing it on my kitty now. This one. Oh, her bird's done. Yep, it's done. That looks awesome. Pearl, that looks so good. Okay, hey, here's our little collection of resin. I think, let me kind of move so you can see. Little clay charms. I don't know what we're gonna do with them, but I thought we should try it out. What do you think, Pearl? I think they're super cute. We've decided the white ones are the cutest because they look the most like real ceramic, like little Polish, you know, ceramics or something. Like we, we both like that one probably the best. Pearl's bird is amazing. I wish that we need to, we're thinking like if you had like a little metal charm frame, frame those would make them look pretty cool too. We're done with that. Now we need to run to the grocery store. We like to go to the grocery store together. The boys are so energized by that car. Um, Peter Asher and Jude are all over there like rushing around, getting stuff to clean it. They've been watching videos the last few days. So we should probably go over there and check in on them on our way to the store. What? What you working on? Clear. Well, that's fun. Pretty excited. Getting her done. <clears throat> back from the store, Eve ran over to be back with everybody at the warehouse. Pearl's over there now. Everybody's so excited. When I make fish tacos, I just get this from Costco. Frozen fish, easy. This beer battered cod is super cheap when you get it at Costco and it's delicious in a taco. So I'm just gonna make some pico and some like green sauce or whatever with like a cilantro cream sauce and we're gonna eat it up and it's gonna be yum. If you don't know what pico is when I say that, that's pico de gallo and it's a Mexican food and it's like the best and it's super easy. Now, when I say Mexican, you know, there's a lot of blending of cultures. So if you are from somewhere in Central or South America and you pico too, lucky you. So all I do is just chop up a bunch of romas. Romas are good because they have good flavor, but also they aren't very wet tomatoes. So I'm just gonna dice them up, dice up an onion, whatever I've got, white, yellow, red, maybe a little bit of garlic minced in there some cilantro, some lime, and some salt. You can put a jalapeno in there if you want, but um, it's so good. Just let it sit for a few minutes and it makes everything taste good. You can eat it with chips, but obviously we're putting it on fish tacos tonight. And then I'm also gonna use the cilantro to make my cream sauce. I'm just gonna put it in the blender with um, some mayonnaise and sour cream and some garlic and some lime and put that on the tacos too. Okay, one more tip. The stems of cilantro are very crunchy and you're not necessarily as appetizing or pleasant, but they have the most cilantro flavor. So if you're gonna make like a cream sauce that you're blending it all up anyways, use the stems um, because then you don't waste them and you get tons of cilantro flavor. Booyah!
You ready? Everyone's yes. ready. Okay, we're gonna eat some fish tacos. We're eating up. That looks real good. Wow. Looks like a restaurant or something. Mm. I just see mine as a salad on cabbage. Yum. Wow. We're all done with dinner. Jude is doing the dishes. There's always someone doing the dishes. Peter is looking up information on this car that these boys are working on. Megan, you are using pearls. making your nails pretty. Nail kit to do wow. Valentine's nails. That is so amazing. I'm pretty stoked about it. It'll also cover up all the paint that I always have under my fingernails. That's really, really fun. Wait, I hear children coming. The other kids went to the store. <laughs> Every time Eve comes home, that's what we hear. It's later in the day now. It's kind of Back to our late. activity. So what, what's up now, Megan? Well, We're supposed to be wrapping up, you know. I know. Pearl just had another bagel. She said these ones are my best yet. I mean, it's only my third time, so that's not too hard. <laughs> but she said they're nice and like um, hip, like almost um, crispy on the outside and soft and chewy on the inside. Mm. Just fed my starter. I have two. I have one in the fridge so that I can protect it in case I... Because one time... In the last week, I kept I had my starter over there, and I forgot in the morning. I lit the stove and I oh. cooked it. So you have like two starters. I do have like two. Like a plan B. Yeah, and then as Jude said, a spare. It's a redundancy kind yes. of situation. Yes. Um, I have, and I'm now making some a couple loaves of sourdough. Um, mm -hmm. I've done the part where I'm just autolyzing. Is that what it's called, my flour? No. Clue. Well, it's just where you're putting the flour and the water together so it can like sit and absorb, and then I will add my my um, starter, my sourdough starter, mm -hmm. or whatever this is called. It smells so good though. Excited to add that. Mm. And then um, I will just do some every 30 minute stretch and folds. All right. And then I will throw it in. I only have one banneton. I need to get another one. So I'm just, I have this one. I think I got it at the thrift store, but it didn't have a, and it's huge and it makes a weird shape. So but you know, you gotta no do what good. you gotta do. And then I'll throw those in in the fridge overnight Pull one out tomorrow and bake it, and then they'll pull the one out a couple days later and bake that, and it's just fine. Wow. So I am gonna do something different with this one. I'm gonna add a little oil, a little fat, because mm -hmm. I know everybody loves to have that really hard crust, but it's kind of annoying to be like oh, on the I bottom. Know. And so it'll soften up just a bit okay, if yeah. I put some fat in, and if I don't use so much flour. So thanks for coming along, guys. I hope you enjoy. This is kind of like a baking, creating, Daily life vlog. Oh, <laughs> car repair. I know. We had, a, mm -hmm. <laughs> we had a wide range of subjects here. <laughs> All right. Till next time. Love you. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.